Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to learn how to add and subtract similar fractions. Whenever we see two numbers written on top and at the bottom of a slash or line, we can call it fraction. The top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. The slash or line that separates the two numbers means that the two numbers are being divided. So for example, we have a fraction 2 over 3. The number on top of the line or slash is the numerator and the number at the bottom is the denominator. If that's what fraction is all about, then what is similar fraction? Similar fractions are fractions, which its denominators are the same. So if we have these fractions, 1 over 4, 3 over 4, 5 over 4, 7 over 4, they are called similar fractions since they have the same denominator, which is 4. Now, how to add similar fraction? To add similar fraction, all we have to do is add the numerators of the fraction and then copy the denominator. So if we have 1 half plus 1 half, as we can see, they have the same denominator. Therefore, we can just copy the denominator and then add the two numerators. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, the result becomes 2 over 2 or equal to 1. And that makes sense because if we add 1 half plus 1 half, we can get a whole, right? Now let's have another example. 5 over 16 plus 7 over 16. As what we can see here, 5 over 16 and 7 over 16 have the same denominator. Therefore, they are similar fraction. So all we have to do is add the two numerators and then copy the denominator. So 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. And then copy the denominator which is 16. Therefore, our answer is 12 over 16. A quick reminder also, we should always simplify fractions. So, the fraction 12 over 16 can be simplified because 12 and 16 has a common multiple, which is 4. Therefore, the simplified form of 12 over 16 is 3 over 4. So, 5 over 16 plus 7 over 16 is equal to 12 over 16 which is also equal to 3 over 4 so that's how we add similar fraction it is very easy right but these steps can only be applied if the fractions are similar fractions we cannot apply these steps if the fractions are dissimilar fractions meaning fractions which denominator is not the same we will have a separate video discussing about the similar fractions. Now you may want to ask, can we apply these steps in subtracting similar fractions? The answer is yes, we can use these steps in subtracting similar fractions. Again, similar fractions only. Now for an example, let's have this problem. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5 4 over 5 and 1 over 5 are similar fractions because they have the same denominators therefore all we have to do is subtract the numerator and then copy the denominator so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and then copy the denominator which is 5 therefore our answer is 3 over 5 and then don't forget to simplify the fraction but in this problem 3 and 5 doesn't have common factor 
Therefore, 3 over 5 is already in simplified form. So, 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5 is equal to 3 over 5. Now, let's have another example. 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4. All we have to do here is subtract the numerator and then copy the denominator like what we just did on the previous example. So, in this problem, the numerator is 3 and 1. Therefore, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And then copy the denominator which is 4. This means that our answer is 2 over 4. 2 and 4 has a common factor which is 2. Therefore, we will divide both numbers by 2. So, the simplified form of 2 over 4 is 1 over 2 or 1 half. Therefore, 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 4 which is also equal to 1 half. So, that's how we subtract similar fraction. Adding and subtracting similar fractions have the same steps. All we have to do is just copy the denominator and then add or subtract the numerator and simplify the answer. Again, these steps are only applicable if the fractions are similar fractions. Now let's have some word problems involving adding and subtracting fractions. Edwin rode his car for 2 over 5 miles on Tuesday and then on Wednesday he rode his car for 4 over 5 miles and 6 over 5 miles on Thursday. How many miles did Edwin ride all together? To solve this problem, all we have to do is add the fractions. As what we can see, 2 over 5, 4 over 5, and 6 over 5 have the same denominator. Therefore, they are similar fractions. So because they are similar fractions, we just need to add the numerators which are 2, 4, and 6. And then copy the denominator which is 5. Therefore, our answer is 12 over 5. That means that Edwin rode his car for 12 over 5 miles altogether. Okay, for the next problem. Annie went to Hogwarts school for her spell casting class which will last for 7 over 2 hours. She has been in class for one half hours already. So how much more time is left to finish her spell casting class? Since the problem asks for the time left to finish the class, this means that we need to subtract one half to seven over two. So it will look like this. So seven over two and one half are similar fractions. Therefore, we just need to copy the denominator and then subtract the numerator. So the answer is 6 over 2. But since 6 and 2 have common factor which is 2, therefore we can divide 6 and 2 by 2. So 6 over 2 will become 3 over 1 or just equal to 3. This means that Annie has 6 over 2 or 3 hours more to finish her spell casting class. So that's how we add and subtract similar fractions. It is very easy, right? All we have to do is memorize the steps. Again, these steps are only applicable if the fractions are similar fractions. So that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot on how to add and subtract similar fractions. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is EarthPen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere.